Today I want to show you guys this lower thirds frosted glass effect in Premiere Pro. Start by duplicating your clip by holding Alt and clicking and dragging above. Now go over and select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle on your preview screen. With your clip highlighted, go over to Essential Graphics, then change your fill color to white and increase the corner radius until your corners get a nice rounded shape like this. Under Effects, Search for Gaussian Blur and Track Matte Key and add both effects to the duplicated clip on Video Layer 2. Go over to Effect Controls and change Matte to Video Layer 3. Composite should be set to Matte Luma and Blurriness to about 100. Now duplicate your rectangle graphic by holding Alt and clicking and dragging up. Then click the duplicate and go over to Essential Graphics. Click on your shape, then go down and uncheck the fill and check off the stroke and set your stroke to 1. Now go over to your toolbar and click on the type tool, then click inside your rectangle and type in the text that you want. Now go over to essential graphics and make whatever adjustments that you want to the text. Click and drag your duplicated clip on video layer 2 so that it matches the duration of your rectangle clips on the timeline. Now let's animate our lower thirds. Click and highlight video layer 2, 3, and 4, then right click and nest the sequence. Go over to effects and find transform and add it to your newly nested sequence. Now from the start of your nested clip, go over to effect controls and scroll down to transform and click on the stopwatch icon for position which will create our keyframe. Now modify the X position controls and move your rectangle completely off the screen to the right side. Move your timeline slider ahead one second and then using the controls again, move your rectangle back to where you want it. Click and highlight both keyframes and right click and select temporal interpolation and then ease in. Now expand the position dropdown and click and drag these blue circles closer together until they form a peak. Scroll down and uncheck the use composition shutter angle and change the value to 360. 